Tonight, we find out who's joining Reese in the final three. Shanina? I'm not going to give it up for anything or anyone. Courtney? I will do anything to win. Or Tom? I deserve to be there and I deserve to win this thing. Only two can make it and with the end so close, one model's dream is about to be shattered. I'm really interested to see who walks through that door. Also, who's got our models in their sight? You were caught in the act. And a big surprise is revealed. The reason we've brought you back here is so we can introduce you to someone really special. It doesn't get any hotter than this. You, mate. Tables have turned a bit, eh? Hey? Were you nervous? No, nah, man, I, I'm feeling really good about this one. Of course I'm nervous. <laughs> Jeez, first time I, I'm scared estless. I know. Tom, Shanina and I are all up for elimination. They cheated in the immunity challenge last week, so I really think that one of them should be voted out instead of me. So, Tom, you and Shanina cheated on the immunity challenge. Tom, I don't, know, I don't know whether I'm more annoyed at the fact that you were cheating or you're stupid enough to give her the information to beat you. I would love to leave the competition knowing that I worked my hardest and I left because I was trying to become a supermodel, not because I cheated. I was beginning to think that I could get through this whole competition without ever being in the bottom three. And um, not many people like someone who cheats, but... What, what can you do? You've just got to hope that Australia sees that you are, you know, a good model and, and put you through. Good luck, guys. Don't burn the house down. Make sure the iron's off. Yeah. Oven. Make sure the oven's OK. Make sure oven you... off. Oven Make sure off. you clean your underwear. Can you check my yeah. Do the washing. Yeah, straight and check. OK, done. Uh, hope Australia sees Tom and Sheena as great models and vote on that, not the mistakes they made on last week's challenge. What the hell? It's you this time, not me. Tom, Shanina and Courtney. One of you is about to leave the competition right at the final hurdle. Last week's assignments were based around the Melbourne Cup, but for some of you, your personal lives overshadowed your performance in those challenges. Australia has now voted. Tom, not your best week last week. You didn't get the photo shoot but you look terrific on the runway. Let's hope you haven't blown it. Shanina, I think you got lucky at the photo shoot, but you excelled on the runway as usual. Hopefully you'll have the opportunity to put your mistakes behind you and focus on the job at hand. Courtney, you've really come a long way. We've seen you grow and develop through this competition. You've just got to work that bit harder on the photo shoots. Okay, Australia has voted. Here is the result. Courtney, Australia has given you another chance to be a supermodel. Galation. Thank you. Tom and Shanina, one of you is about to leave the competition. Tom, Australia has voted. I'm sorry, we cannot make you into a supermodel. It's 
That means, Shanina, you are safe for another week. Congratulations. Um, I'd just like to say, Jen, Martin, Jackie, thank you for an amazing experience. Um, I've had such a good time. I've gained a lot, so thank you. Fellow, com fellow competitors, thank you. Um, it's been an amazing experience. I've so privileged to have met you guys and everyone else along the journey. Tom, you've done so well. You've been strong throughout this whole competition. We all thought that. We still do. So good luck in the future. Thanks very much. You came to this competition having never modelled before. And today, I see a top-rate model with a big future. Thank you. I hope so as well. I'm sure you'll be on the runways overseas. I hope so that as walk well. That you it might be just the beginning, Tom. I hope yeah. so. Thank you. You can leave the catwalk. Thank you very much. Thanks. disappointed obviously you know after what I've been through personally um, I, I'd question whether I deserve to stay on because I have been less than honorable in my actions personally and um, you know I'm kicking myself still very much so now that I've gone especially so it's really tough and you know um, I guess Reese has got the title of hottest guy in Australia kind of now and I hate that so no oh, good luck to him Nina, you okay? Yeah, I'm really upset at the moment. Tom is a great model. Yeah. He's, he has been so consistent throughout this, you know, this competition, so it's really sad to see him go. You're both in the final three with Reese now. You've come a long way. Now, this week, it's going to be a hard week, but give it your all, and it's up to Australia to decide. It's their vote, so you need to impress them. You can leave the catwalk. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tommy and I are pretty close, um, kind of like a big brother, little brother relationship to be honest. I'd love to share that last week with him and um, and I couldn't think of anyone better to do that with. Ah! It's Tommy! I know! It's okay though. Congratulations guys. Oh, Tommy boy. I'm devastated for Tommy because I think he put his heart on the line and he did so well in the whole competition. Oh. Oh, yeah. I could just see it on his face that he was really upset and he was he was shocked that re, um, that Tom has left. So, yeah, we were feeling very much the same today, Reese and I. Well done, both of you. I think this is... Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Good on you. Now, it's good. You survived, so you, you obviously you're doing something to me. I'm stoked. And the you. Oh. And the last boy left. That's weird. It's a mixture of shock that Tom's out here and a mixture of shock that I'm the last bloke left. Oh, is this from Tom? I need some new... Oh, is it? Oh, you're going to make me cry. He's and you're going to start gay rumours too. It's great. <laughs> from day one, everyone said that I wouldn't be in the final three, but I'm here now and I'm going to give it everything I've got to win this competition. This everything I've got. <laughs> it is hard losing a um, best friend. You know, Tom and I are so close and we talk to each other all the time. I think this week we're really focused because I know all of us want to win to become a supermodel. This week's theme is all about ourselves. Ah, yes. selling ourselves? No, no just, just ourselves. Just us. Just us. And we have to, you know, <laughs> show what type of supermodels we're going to be to the Australian public. Cool. Bring you. Bring me. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Congratulations. These are the top three. Hi. You're working with Justin Smith. He's shot supermodels all around the world. And he actually launched Gemma Ward's career, so you're in good hands. Today, we've got three different photo shoots, a single one for each of you. And they're going to be slightly different, and I need you to be really focused. You've obviously learned some skills along the way, which you need to bring to that. But more than that, we need to see you, your personality, and what you're about. Today, it's all about you. This is it, your final photo shoot. Good luck. Well, today's photo shoot is all about us. All the other photo shoots we've been through, we were acting like I had to be a wife that was crying, like I had to 
be like some scary vampire, all these crazy characters, but today it's just myself, so I feel some ease and, yeah, some positive energy, I guess, because I'm just being myself and that's what makes me feel good. I feel, feel very raw today and, and, and very, you know, nothing to hide. So I quite enjoy that feeling, you know. Um, I've probably struggled in the past um, trying to be someone uh, or thinking I have to be someone I'm not. Um, whereas, you know, today it's me and this is the person that came in the competition and, you know, it's got me where I am. So let's uh, see how much further it can get me. Yeah, so just, and just bring that shoulder forward a touch. Hold that there. Up again, up to the light. Um, I'm not overly excited at this stage. I'm going to get rid of that as well too. So what we'll do is, yeah, take that off. Yeah, let's go. I'm just going to change things up a little bit. It looks a little bit overstyled. It looks a little bit um, complicated at this point. But I think when I can make it look a little bit more grittier and a little bit more kind of bit raw. You're loving that. Two cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I could get you to <laughs> Just a little bit around there. Just... <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get it shot. Remember the neck, but I want it to be as long as possible. But that's almost about bringing your shoulders down and forward and then not pushing your neck too far forward and bringing the whole thing back. We have smoke and fire. Thank you very much. Bring that hand right down. Just relax it. Yeah, that's great. I no longer feel like I'm a shadow of Tom and, and being compared to him. I, I now see myself as a, my own person. I can stand on my own two feet. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a genuine contender for this competition. Tense your arms. That's it. Head back. Thank you. And one more. Let's go. Fantastic, that's done. We've, we've got it. Thank you very much. You're done. I think the pitch is going to be really exciting and really great, and I think he'll stand a good chance of possibly being a winner. Oh my god, what did you have to do? I got crazy. There was fire, flames, smoke. All the hairs in the back of my neck just burnt off. I'm like, what the f? And there was a fire literally that far from my neck. Um, I've got it probably, I think I said it's second degree, but it should be alright, it'll heal in time. Anything to get the shot. <laughs> I, I joked that there was a bit of heat behind me and a little bit of heat with Jen in front of me as well, so. <laughs> Always a fire sandwich. <laughs> this photo shoot is huge. I really want to focus today and get a great shot because this could be a shot that could, you know, really start off my career and make me become a supermodel. Maybe take the elbow out and that's fantastic. Hold that there for one second. Well, I've been through a lot in my life. I'm only 17, I know, and it's hard for people to comprehend, but I was bullied in high school and that just made me look at things, look at life in a different way, not take things so seriously. This competition has made me realise that it's okay to be yourself and your personality is what matters the most. I bring the shoulders forward and really with the connection, eyes to camera. I think Shanina's really focused on what, why she's here and what she's working towards, but it's really down to Shanina to bring that little bit extra behind the eyes to the camera. Uh, Shanina, the dress is, is looking great, but if we've got another one, I want to try another one. I changed Shanina out of the first dress. I wanted to give her something more complicated. I felt she could handle it. something I love like dressing up and getting into different clothing but uh, you know I love fashion this is this is beautiful this dress this is stunning head up touch don't move that straight hold on one second beautiful can I have some water please thanks Rebecca there's quite a lot here sorry <laughs> you're gonna hate this Nina Don't move, that's great. Hold on one second. Beautiful. Oh, I love that dress. She looks amazing. Can I have some water, please? Thanks, Rebecca. Right, I'm going to put some water into your hair. The idea with Shanina and the water was just to make her skin look really beautiful and to, to kind of almost get rid of any styling with her hair just to make sure that her face came out. You're going to hate me, Shanina. That's it. Don't move, head up. That's great. Hold that. Thank you. Hold that head up there. Shanina went really well. Uh, it's always difficult uh, with a lot of fashion and a lot of water. And um, I think she coped really well. Ah, I'm wet. <laughs> it's the best photo shoot I've ever had. I can't wipe the smile off my face. It's 
I had a chat to Courtney after my shoot. How are you feeling about yours? I don't know. I'm I'm really not nervous, but confused. Okay. Not clueless. I think she was a bit unclear of, of what kind of person she was and how to portray that to the photographer. Justin. So I decided to do a little bit of role play. I, I played Justin. I'm going to play Courtney, but I thought Justin would be a better character for me. Courtney played herself. Courtney, how are you? Good. Justin. Courtney, look, all I want to know is who are you? How do I describe myself? How Courtney, would you not, describe... you're not winning me. <laughs> no, you're not winning me. Look, Justin. <laughs> no, but okay, out of the role play, how who would are you... Who are you, Courtney? How would you describe me? You're asking me, no, Justin. No, I'm asking Reese. Justin's not here anymore. Yeah, it is a bit concerning uh, that Courtney doesn't know who she is, especially going to a shoot that's all about her. Um, so you just hope that she has an epiphany sometime between leaving that couch and heading next door to the studio. Let's start the smoke first. Let's go. That's great. Just push that hair out. Let's go. Keep the hand up there. Let's go. That's great. When um, Justin was clicking away behind the camera, I was picturing, you know, my first photo shoot at Gary Beach and how I knew absolutely nothing and I was just standing there waiting for Nick to tell me what to do. It's such an achievement for me to come from day one to day whatever it is now and, <laughs> and have this amazing opportunity to have a beautiful photo shoot with Justin. Your body looks hot. Really? really? <laughs> wow. Jan made the comment that, wow, she looks sexy. And when Justin came up and said, you look sexy, I was gobsmacked. Yeah. Can you let Jackie Frank know, please? <laughs> I think she'll know when she sees the picture. Yeah, she'll know. <laughs> That's it. Head up. That's great. Fantastic. Beautiful. And we're almost done. One more. And done. Fantastic. She'd always had problems with photo shoots. Not mm. today. She's mm. absolutely on I know. fire. I know. She's definitely sexy. Absolutely. Jackie arrived bright and early this morning with our portfolios. Reese, Shanina, and Courtney. Thank you. Well, it's um, it's been three months now, and we've tried to kind of get you prepared and teach you as much as we can. So today, General Pants is casting for their new ad campaign, and they've asked to see the three of you. They want you to come to the casting. There's no guarantee that you're going to get it. But if you do, it'll be your first paid job in the industry. <laughs> None of us have been to castings throughout this whole thing, so it'll be nice to get out into the world and see if we can actually get a job. Walking in here with all these models, it's like, wow, there's a lot of competition. Today my marketing team and I are casting for our major Christmas campaign. We're casting a lot of models today and we can only choose three for the shoot. You can be in this show for as long as you want and, and do with many catwalks and photo shoots, but if you don't get the jobs, then yeah, you're not a working model. We're looking for models that can be really versatile, that have a fun energy to them and can really work fast. Could I grab you? Hi. Hello. I think that I can bring what general pants need to the campaign. How do you feel like having to get ten different looks out in a short period of time? I try and do my best to pull it off. We've only had, like, these have been my only photo shoots yeah. that I've ever done in my life, so... Oh, really? How do you work under pressure? I think I've learnt to, to work under pressure and, and work in a variety of um, shoots, so yeah. I, would, I would answer good to that. Yeah. You know, how do you feel that you can handle, you know, lots of different looks? I feel very confident. You see my book, I've yeah. been put up for anything, really. Can you have a serious look without... Like a, obviously without like a, posing? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I can have a serious look without posing, definitely. Like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can be serious. <laughs> well, let's get you into a pair of jeans. <laughs> I'm not allowed to run out with them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Good. Do you want me to turn around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I just, yeah. I really like my, you know, my rear end. Turning around yeah. the corner. This is the money shot here, isn't it? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Do you want me to spin around again? Yeah. Excellent. I think I was pretty happy with my performance. I was being myself and feel happy with my look. Yeah, it was good. All the models we've seen today have been of a really high standard. It's going to be very difficult choosing three models out of the groove.
Today I met the models for lunch. I wanted to talk to them about their public image. You've got to remember, you, if you make it, you're going to be in the public eye. When you become a celebrity, there's always a risk that there's going to be somebody there, a paparazzi, to take the shot that you really don't want taken. And they're going to have to understand to become a supermodel is about becoming a brand. And they need to be able to protect that brand and behave in a certain way. So you can't let your guard down. Normally today, you would have a lesson. But in actual fact, I'm going to give you the afternoon off. <laughs> yeah. To you all. The models think they have the afternoon off, but what they don't know is that we have paparazzi following them around. Do you want to go with me? Up next. In a way, I took out the two chiefs that are coming up. There you go. Got it. You were caught in the act. The winner of Make Me a Supermodel will receive a contract with Chadwick Modeling Agency. International representation with New York Model Management, a spread in Australia's number one fashion magazine, Marie Claire, and the chance to become the world's next supermodel. The models think they have the afternoon off, but what they don't know is that we have paparazzi following them around. Do you want to have something with me? How about we finish this bottle of Chandon first, eh? She's shoveling food in, eh? Hey? We have been in a little bit of a bubble over the last 11 weeks. We haven't been uh, out that much. Um, the times we are, it is quite strange having all the attention and people coming up to you and knowing you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Lovely Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's your favourite? <laughs> Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Bruce is up, he's surfing. He's got a nice one. He's getting out now. Oh, no way, I took out the two chips, they're coming up. You know, I would have gone for a surf before I came into this competition and I'd be lucky to have my girlfriend waiting in the car for me when I got out. Today I had a couple of blondes running straight to me after I got out of the water. How'd you go? Yeah, 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 good. Got it. There was one point we were on the beach and Courtney and I were you know, throwing a frisbee around. Great, great stuff. Shanina and I were a little bit freaked out, but only in the way that there's this guy sitting there with a hood on and the camera like sneakily trying to take pictures of us. Like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Courtney, nice to meet you. Reese, sorry. Reese. No? Reese? Yeah, no, Shanina. Shanina. We had a couple of gentlemen buy us a bottle of champagne um, as soon as we sat down at this restaurant. Alcohol. That just looked a bit shady to me. I, you know, I didn't know if they were trying to get some information out of us. So I, I think we we're all a little bit um, careful of what we told them. Uh, they might have thought we were a bit cold, and they, they, they kind of left after not too long. I was up and about this morning, and I heard the phone ring. And it doesn't ring too often in this house, so I knew it must have been important. Hello? Hi Reese. Martin here. How are you mate? Look, I need you, Courtney and Shanina to get dressed and meet me in my office straight away. Alright mate, I'll, I'll let them know. We'll, we'll get ready and we'll come down as soon as possible. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning guys. Did you have a good time yesterday? We yeah. did. <laughs> because you were caught in the act. I think the first thought that went through my head was, oh no, this is bad. <laughs> this is Darren Lyons, Mr. Paparazzi from Big Pictures. Darren is a well-known paparazzi king who photographs everyone. He called me this morning to say he had a few shots of you guys from yesterday. They had laid out on the table uh, in the office 30 or so snaps of uh, what we got up to yesterday. Come and have a look. Let's start with Shanina. Oh, the binger. How many chins? One, two, three. No one is going to have a good picture ever eating. But if you're aware there's a photographer there, try and do it in a reasonable amount of privacy. Shanina eats her way out of Binge model out. despair. You always look through the magazine, you see the shots of people eating, you're like, oh, that's a really bad shot. And I had my turn of it today, it was really embarrassing. 
They say the camera never lies. Well, I'll tell you, I can make it lie. A picture can be totally innocent, and then all of a sudden it can be made out with a headline to be something totally different. And almost bending over. If the light was a little bit brighter the other day and a little bit of fill in flash, you could have been in a bit of trouble there. You could have become a page three girl. Oh, God. All of a sudden we've got Courtney, new man in Courtney's life. Who is this man you were photographed with? I can see a headline now, famous magazine this week, Courtney Cheats on Billy. Oh. You can tell how you can use paparazzi in a good way and how they use it in a bad way. That's just me innocently having a conversation with someone, someone I've just met and they use it in a negative way. It's all about context, isn't it? All about context. The paparazzi actually is the biggest PR tool in the world for you. They're going to make you not just a model, they're going to make you hugely famous. Look at Naomi Campbell, look at Kate Moss, look at the world's top models and how they manipulate and use the media, particularly the paparazzi. This is the set of the day as far as I'm concerned. This is Golden Balls Relived, okay? <laughs> This is an absolute classic, and you've got this lady, if she had it turned around, I think she would have got a serious eyeful. Look here, Reese. Look, here's another she situation. Yeah, he's doing, absolutely. He's doing the right thing there, isn't he? You are. You're doing the right thing in being the perfect celebrity. Never forget where your fan base is. But here, all of a sudden, that, with a girlfriend, what's she going to say? It's definitely an eye-opener and something we probably needed before we went out into the real world. But I think what we're saying here, guys, is actually you've done nothing wrong in there, but it is important how you deal with the paparazzi. And you guys already are extremely famous throughout Australia. The winner of this could be an absolute international phenomenon, because this is making you famous. It's the fame game, and you're in it. Now, I want you to get dressed, because there's someone important that I have for you to meet. Ooh. Righto. At the start of the competition, we came here at the tram sheds to burn our clothes so we can start a new beginning. Yeah, I had mixed emotions in regards to the tram shed from early on in the competition, having to burn all that stuff in a symbolic gesture, I guess, to show how much we wanted it. Now we're back here again, and I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Walking into the tram sheds today, straight away I noticed all of our photos from the past throughout the competition. <laughs> it was really, really emotional. I was close to tears. Look at that! Oh my gosh! Wow! Look, Reese. I was kind of overwhelmed. Um, for the first time, throughout this whole competition, I could stop, look back, and see how far I'd come. Wow, it's me! <laughs> it was so weird, and just seeing, you know, all the experiences that we went through. So at the start of this competition, we stripped you down to become supermodels. The reason we've brought you back here is so we could introduce you to someone really special. It's the new you. Take a look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my, <laughs> my eyes just went wide open and I was like, oh my god. Looking at that final photo just makes all of these months of hard work come together like everything that I've learned from day one shows in that final photo. You guys look fantastic. You look like real models. I can't stop looking at it. I think yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's kind of, it just typifies everything I wanted to get to into this competition and finally I nailed it in the last shoot and what better time to nail it I guess. I see myself as a supermodel now and that's what makes me feel really happy about myself because I've worked so hard. And I had that final photo, and to see it up with everyone else, it's, yeah, a great feeling. And I'm crying again. Yes, I was right. I've just come so far, and I want it so, so badly. I want to be a supermodel. I want to be, you know, I want to be in New York. And I think this is my time. These guys are still going to get on the runway tomorrow, so they've got to maintain a competitive edge. It's not over yet. So I think they've all got to refocus and, and keep thinking about the job uh, and that is the final prize coming up <laughs> this is a hard change for me well, i think we've got a problem with reese here hold up we're sending shanine in there not good we walked into catwalk today to find out that we were going to be changing three times 
It is the last big catwalk before the final vote, so it means the last chance to impress the judges, the last chance to impress the public. I'm really nervous about having to change because we only have three minutes to change and be back out on the catwalk. Shanine, I'm going to use the MAC um, cream colour base on you, which gives you that sheen that you've enjoyed wearing so much. Yay. Yay, good. The three looks we have today are um, swimwear, formal wear and avant-garde. Avant-garde or something. Avant-garde. Avant-garde. Avant to guard. To, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Basically anything that's on uh, the cusp of the new, oh. um, you know, unseen, unforged territories. I'm wearing a, what appears to be a lady's dress today, so that's all men out there. That's uh, what's coming up next on the, on the catwalks and in the streets. So get your mini skirts out. <laughs> God, I thought that was a joke. So that's what I'm aspiring to, I guess. Oh, the recent outfit is so funny. I don't think he's so comfortable with it. I'll take those. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing this. When a stylist laughs, you know something's going wrong. <laughs> I love the back of that dress. I think that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. This um, does feel like a real runway show. Unfortunately, I have the most difficult changes compared to Courtney and Reese. I'm not sure if I'm jealous or not that Shanina gets the difficult outfits. If she pulls them off, then that's a plus next to her name. If she doesn't, then that's a minus. It's super heavy, right? Yeah, it is. It's really important that we nail these three catwalks and get there in time, because <laughs> if the judges are sitting there waiting, then it's going to go against us. arrived at Courtney. Good timing. Yeah. See, he couldn't have done that 12 weeks ago. Janina, two minutes thirty. Done. You've never mm. noticed the first mm. time she's had a three minute change. Yeah, she does look really good. Cool. Mm. Really in control, actually. Stand by with me. Janina, thirty seconds. Come on, babe. Courtney, you've got two minutes thirty. show is like, so let's get used to it. You've got to maintain consistency in your walk, and that's what she does all the time. No trips. Well done. No. Oh, well well gorgeous. Done. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> this is a hard change for me. Amazing dress. She's really working that dress really well. Courtney's got extra confidence. Reese just got backstage. Oh, oh, hold up. We're sending Shanine in there. I think we've got a problem with Reese here. He's, Where's uh, Reese? He Where's Reese? Backstage. Oh. Oh, hold up. We're sending Shanine in there. Oh. 
Shanine 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 Looking at my dress, I was, or all my outfits, they were quite showstoppers. Um, the rope jacket that you saw was actually 15 kilograms of rope, mm -hmm. and it was really, really heavy. So I'll ask you the same question. Why do you think Australia should vote for you? I am so hardworking, and I know I can own that title. I think it's my time. I think as a supermodel, you need to have a unique look, and I think I have that. Courtney. I heard you came into this photo shoot with a real fire in your belly, that you really wanted to nail it. I did. Well, the photographer thought you did an amazing job. And he thought you came into the shoot very focused and determined. And I think you see that in the shot. And he said, you know, he thought you were incredibly sexy. Yay. So, are you the next supermodel? <laughs> When there was 14 of us in the house and we were having that dinner in the beginning and we had that question, who do you think will be here for the final three? My name wasn't mentioned once. And now standing here next to Reese and Shanina, I can't wipe the smile off my face. So. Do you think you deserve to be there? I, I do believe I deserve to be here. I've come so far since day one and I do believe I have what it takes. You've been a fighter through this competition. I have. Reese and Shanina, do you think Courtney deserves to be here? Reese and Shanini, do you think Courtney deserves to be here? There's other people who maybe on their modelling performance could have still been here, um, namely I would think Tom. Um, but
However, there can only be one winner, and that person will be decided by the public vote. Rhys, you've got a great look and a great personality, and I think that combination will take you far. Shanina, you consistently nailed everything. I have no question in my mind that you have a big career in this industry. Courtney, you've battled through, you've refused to take no for an answer, and you've shown us real determination. And I'm sure all those qualities make it absolutely certain that you deserve to be on the runways. So models, who will win this competition is now out of our hands. It's up to the Australian public to decide. So good luck, you can leave the catwalk. This week you're voting for your favourite model, the one you want to win, Make Me a Supermodel. Voting lines close tomorrow, 9am Eastern Daylight Saving Time. I should win this competition because throughout this whole journey I have been myself. I haven't been anyone else. I know that I've had my down weeks, but I'm ready to take on the world and make sure that I never have a down week again for the rest of my life. And this, this is me, this is the type of supermodel you're going to get. For Courtney to win, call 1902-557701 or SMS her name to 191777. Here I am now with a one in three chance uh, of becoming a supermodel. Um, I never would have dreamt it. If I do win, it'll just be the biggest sense of pride, I think, and I know how proud my mum would be. I'm here now with a, a, a passion of mine which I want to fulfil and, and, and a career of mine which I want to do from here until as long as I can. For Reese to win, call 1902-557702 or SMS his name to 191777. This has been a very restless journey but I have enjoyed it so so much. I put my heart and soul into this competition and everything that I do. I can see myself working in New York, I can see myself you know being in top magazines. To become a supermodel it will mean the world to me. For Shanina to win call 1902-557703 or SMS her name to 191777. From 38,000 potential supermodels, we now have three. To become a supermodel, it means the world to me. It's been a long life dream. To be a supermodel would be everything to me. I think the longer I've stayed in this competition, the more I've realised how much I want this. I have the personality, I have the look, and I have the wits of what a supermodel has. Next week, in front of a live audience, Australia's newest supermodel is revealed. You can see a whole lot more and watch the entire episode again for free at our website, yahoo7.com.au forward slash TV.